Yo, what up everybody? This is Fiery Fire. Let me go ahead and get this started. And we're seeing a TWLJ matchup today against Dark vs. Skate. So highly anticipated. Both teams are highly ranked in the TWLJ leagues right now. So one of the better matchups for this weekend. And ideally, hopefully, this pans out better than some of the weekend matches we had in the previous weeks. Just because, you know, it makes for better things. As Turbin picks off 24 and Zidane. So good job for Turbin. Setting the tone right off the bat with the super. And right now you're seeing basically Skate just crowd dark in the corner and they really don't have many places to go. Turbin gets uh, picked off by Waven, straight too far out and good job for Necromatic taking out Waven there and Children. So hopefully uh, we can see uh, some of uh, Dark's uh, better players, better jabs step up and, and make it happen. So there are both starters, there are starters on both sides. So it's not like, you know, one, one team has four or five starters and the other one has two or three. So both teams are relatively equally matched in terms of skill and talent. And um, yeah, so it, it may uh, look out to be to be a really good game. So we'll just kind of have to see and wait what really happens. Um, expect Zidane and Ease to really kind of step up and make sure and carry their team. And right there, Render gets picked off by Ease. That means, you know, with those type of situations, always got to be uh, careful. Always got to be, you know, having peripheral vision. So you got to want to see, be awareness, court awareness, uh, you know, what's around you, what's straying. And, you know, a lot of people, like, after the first bomb shot, they kind of forget that, you know, in jabs, bombs usually come back. So, always got to make sure that the bombs don't come back. Zidane, good job taking off Flood there. And uh, right now, you're looking at Dark at 5. E uh, skate is at 4. So, good job for Dark uh, coming back initially. So, not getting too far behind the count early on. So, they, they have a chance to stay in the game. And that's what we need to see. So, we need to see uh, players like Children and even be aggressive and 24 to follow with the, uh, and, but Fizzy takes out Render there. Is it Children trying to snipe down the middle, so sometimes you can get some lucky shots. Fizzy falling to a 24. Oh, trade off right there between both. And Zidane uh, follows up and picks off Turbin at the very end. So good job. Always trying to stay on the, on the outer perimeter. So in those situations on the ear, the le left and right lower side, it's always good to kind of um, track and not always go all the way in, even though it's an easy kill. You want to be able to make sure you can get out alive, or if uh, better yet, just stray someone and you know you will be safe and walking away with a free kill. So, and right there, Fizzy takes out Wave in. So Zidane, good job for Zidane shooting down instead of right because. He knew that Fizzy was trying to cut in the corner. He just didn't have enough energy to do so. But right now, it's turning out okay. Right now, 13-7. to seven. I want to see Skate uh, try to maybe regroup. So 14-7, 15-7. Dark is rolling. Children taking out Flood. And Flood taking out Zidane. So right, uh, so right now, Dark is coming out. You know, there are high uh, uh, expectations for both teams. Because both teams are championship quality type teams. So... And uh, we haven't had a, one of these matchups in a long time just because there aren't that many LJ teams left. And the ones who are, aren't, you know, c c constantly competitive because they don't have, you know, more than five starters. So, you know, most of the time starters don't really show. So you have, you're dealing with, you know, bench players. And so unless your bench players have potential to carry, you know, you're going to be in a bad position in a world of hurt. So 21-8 to eight, and, and Skate's exactly in that position, hurting right now. They need to find someone needs to step up and just make something happen. Do something right now. Someone needs to take charge, set the tone, carry and set up for his teammates. And right now you're looking at the scoreboard. Uh, Zidane 4, Waven at 4, Turbin at 3 and 3. He's 24 at 4 and 2, Children at 2 and 0. Oh. So Children is playing a very careful game. It's not characteristic of him because usually he plays very aggressive and is suiciding all the time. And that's, you know, sets the tone. But good job for him. He wants to do well and he wants to know that he knows that this is a type of game that it's going to come down to the end. It's going to come down to the last couple ships. And it's going to come down to the players to make the best decisions early on to allow them to be, you know, to have more lives going into, you know, the last couple minutes of the game. So, with that, uh, Skate slowly uh, crawling back, 17 and 10. Rendered, good job, and Fizzy right there, right in the face. So, and Children, children uh, shooting down, missing, but good job for Waven going down. Ease getting taken out by Rendered. Children following up on Creatures. So, it looks like 20-10, more than a, it's a 2 to 1 ratio at this point. Looks like Dark does have it in the bag, but we'll see what happens. Skate's a uh, veteran team, so we, we'll expect veteran plays. And those are veteran uh, mistakes that, you know, p veterans don't make. So, Rendered, you got to make sure that, you know, don't go for, like, the lob unless you know it's going to kill. Because if you shoot and, you know, you don't kill anybody, you, you have zero energy and, you know, you're, you're primed for getting picked off in Vulture. So, right there, 24. Again, like I said, people always kind of uh, focus on the shot up. Got to focus on the rebound. Oh, there he is. Everyone trading off Ease with the two furs. Zidane taking out Ease. So let's see if they can spawn Ease down in the when they respawn. So it's a two to one ratio. 
or two to one advantage at the moment. So today leading the way with the golden crown at the moment, and 24 going up top. Five and three for ease, so good job, children. Four and one, just dying right there. And it's 20, 24, four and four, so everyone doing okay. Not, no one really doing too bad. We'll see how things go. Fizzy t picking off Render. And Zidane and Children waving, uh, flanking from the left side. Uh, Ch Children is kind of seen from the bottom, so he wants to know to kind of aim up. And that's pretty good. That's a pretty good, that's, uh, I guess, straight position because you're shooting vertically up and down, so which means there's less time for them to react because they won't see the bomb as fast as, as if you shoot um, east to west, west to east. So 24 caught out of position. Oh! Taking out ease though in the process, and right now what Dark needs to do is, or what 24 needs to do is uh, rally back to his troops. Good job for a solo carry there, solo kill. But he needs to rally back, and right now you're seeing pressure being placed on by Dark, uh, just kind of lobbing in. So Skate, uh, besides the fact that they have to dodge from uh, incoming lobs doing down, so they can't fire, like Creature there couldn't fire. So they have to be careful of that, and they can't fire as well, so they're kind of handicapped in a way. So Dark with a great position right now. There's, you know, they're straying at this point. Waving just straight fizzy right there, and that's just a product of you know, being in, in a bad position. 24 getting taken off by Creature. Good job right there. Um, Creature needs to step up. Yeah, you know, obviously he Javelin is not his main ship, but you know, if if you get lucky a couple times, get rolling. You know, you can bring your Warbird talents in there and just straight shot everybody or bullet tons. So oh, there we go. Fizzy again. So this game is not even a game of skill. It's a game of how, how bad people can get two for it because they don't realize that a bomb bounces back. So you always got to be aware, um, you know, your, your actions per minute have to be a lot higher than just kind of like seeing what's happening, uh, you know, a couple inches around your ship. You want to be paying attention to everybody. And I know this is a 1920 resolution, but you know, even with 1280, it's just that you always got to be constantly moving, constantly moving. And making sure you're, you're not you know, staying still, because so you have the milliseconds to you know use shift and get burst out of trouble. So Turbin missing the bounce right there, but Zidane taking a creature. Rendered going up top, and 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 uh, bounce back right there. Oh, rendered uh, thinking that that was gonna take him out, but good job for Ease doing what he can, uh, taking the uh, uh, the golden crown at this point, and Turbin lobbing down but hitting nothing. And 24 going testing the waters, trying to bull and gaining momentum. So good job right there, you know, forcing the players back and giving. Um, uh, chance for uh, his uh, teammates to follow in pursuit, but 27, 24, plus three, pl uh, actually plus four now. So maybe um, Dark can hold off the, uh, the the comeback. They can hold off the comeback. So we don't know, but children, uh, you know, killing right there. Oh, flood taking out waving right there. Ease and getting away from Z Zidane right there. So maybe a better pos uh, uh, strategy would have been to fly it out and maybe try to bank it off that uh, to the left or use a corner shot. So children, children, Zidane, you know, um, on top right now. Going away from skate at this point, which is a good strategy in my opinion. Regroup with your teammates. I know you know it's plus three momentum and shifting, so they need to do what it's got to do to stop the bleeding at this point. But skate's doing a good job. Being a veteran team, they know that the game is not won or lost in the first ten minutes. You know, despite what some of you believe. Um, Turbin, good job with Zidane. So you know they're slowly inching back and just kind of capitalizing on mistakes and seeing if they can get one kill at a time. Because every every time you kill a player, you're ending up five and four. Right now, you know you're seeing. Dark being down 5-4 and four in base, so right now, no matter what, they're at a disadvantage. And it's been happening like that for the past minute or so with one player just kind of dies. Like right now, Zidane's going in, and that's in no man's land. So he needs to get out of the way. Oh, Flood's out of con and stuck right there. So, But no one's able to go in and shoot in the Flood at the point. So we're, we're seeing some of the momentum loss as Children takes out Flood there. So good job right there. Flood not having a good game. Oh, he's um, uh, missing on Waven. Waven doing a good uh, down, up, dodge. And oh, Waven taking on Creature as well, and takes Creature out. So good job for Waven, setting the tone. 32-30. Now the game is back, five and four, permanently for Dark. Okay, so Creature is obviously you know three and five at this point. So, but he's not a technically a jab, so you can't really put too much blame. But good job for him to for trying to just hang in there. And Fizzy, good job for Zidane again with the bounce back. So, um, at this point, <laughs> whatever goes, who cares? But. You know, people, you know, you gotta wanna dodge. Good job for Ease trying to hit him. Maybe bounce it off right there, but, you know, gets the corner and, you know, gets the lev shot on them. So Turbin uh, tries to get out. Oh, Zidane can't follow up on Turbin. And Turbin gets lucky and gets out of there. And 24 misses the corner. Oh, gets picked off by Zidane. So that was, it was exactly opposite of what, you know, was ideal for the team because now momentum shifting. And that's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two, FFL.